Hello and welcome to another episode of the Digital Painter Vidcast. My name is Terry Danichikimak II. I'm a digital painter, and that's a painting my daughter did. Alright, so we are back with another episode that deals with Procreate for the iPad. Uh, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be looking at some of the updates that have happened most recently with uh, Procreate, which I'm really excited about. They've done a lot of great changes, and um, and so we're going to chit-chat about it. This week, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the new quick menu, and it's a quick menu. Yep, kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> All right, so how, how do we bring up the quick menu? Well, first off, if you remember when we were going through the settings, you saw here at the very bottom, advanced gesture control, and the quick menu is in the bottom right there. You can see that it's currently turned on, and for me, it's set to touch hold for 0.8 seconds. So if I touch the screen and hold it there for 0.8 seconds, then the quick menu will appear. So why don't we give that a test? So we're in this painting that my daughter did. And if I press and hold, roughly I'm going to do where the belly button would be. There's my quick menu. You can currently see that my quick menu consists of flip vertically, clear layer, merge down, copy, flip horizontally, and varied circle. Now, this is not the default settings. I've already kind of played around with it and adjusted a couple of things, i.e. the varied circle is not necessarily going to be on yours. So to make it disappear, all you have to do is a touch another part of the screen without touching one of the menus, and it goes away. Now, this is pretty cool. I like this quick menu because it can put things that you use often right there at your fingertips. So, for example, you want to flip this vertically. Oop, there she is, vertically. Now this is more useful when you're doing a portrait or other human form to be able to flip horizontally. I've done that fairly often. When you flip horizontally, it allows your eyes to see it from the other direction, and you can usually start to pick up mistakes that you've created. They're usually minor. When you stare at the same picture for so long, it's hard to tell if what you're doing right is actually correct. So we'll set her back. Now again, you have six things here. You can indeed change them. And changing the quick menu is very easy. All you have to do is pick one of the options and press and hold. So for example, I'm going to press and hold on the merge down. And here you can set a variety of actions. And it's, you know, you look at these and it's almost everything that's available in the program. You've got alpha lock, clear layer, Copy, copy merged. Copy merged is actually a good one. Uh, what it does is it copies and merges. Yeah, we'll get into that later. <laughs> uh, you've got new layer, paint, and then you've actually got, you can select brushes, right? So for example, you can go into your brushes and all of your brush sets are there. And then you can go into each individual brush set and pick which brush you want. So for example, I use the HB pencil a lot. That is my sketching tool. So if I click that, now my HB pencil is always available. So if I'm in here, say, using this super brush, and I'm drawing, oh, I better, before I do that, I'm going to make a new layer. My daughter will kill me if I mess up her picture. We'll turn her off for now. So we sit here and we're drawing and I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I need to do some pencil sketches. All I have to do is press and hold, go switch to my HP pencil, and now I'm into my HP pencil. So I can easily sketch around whatever it is I want to sketch around. Okay, then press and hold and it comes back up. I can because it currently is set, clear the layer as well. Now, things that I won't necessarily use it for, if you noticed in here, oh, squirrel out back, oops. 
You, you can switch to paint. You can switch to a race. And you can switch to smudge. Now, each of those are a single pick for me up top. So I'm not going to put those into the quick menu. The things that I'm going to put into the quick menu are things that I have to go one or two layers deep for me to get to. So that's why the flip vertically and flip horizontally are so good there. Uh, copy, maybe. Clear layer I'm going to keep because I like. If I were to come over to the copy, I would probably change this uh, because it's not something that I do often in what I do in my painting. What, ooh, that's what happens when you accidentally brush it with one of your other fingers. I'm going to do something similar. I'd probably uh, select a brush. Uh, say there's a certain brush that I like to erase with. And there, I mean, there, there is. So what I'd probably do is airbrush and do probably maybe a medium airbrush. And that way when I'm on erasing, I can very quickly pick that brush and erase. So now I'm already set up. And then when I go back to pencil sketching, which that's what I use Procreate most often for, is pencil sketching uh, when I'm out and about. So having those two readily at my fingertips is going to be very awesome. Now, if you noticed in there, I'm going to go back into this one. I mean, we've even got things like Alpha Lock, right? So it's really, it really does fill layer. Uh, you've got paste. Now, I wouldn't necessarily use paste because you can get to paste very easily quickly by doing three fingers and a drag down there's your paste no real reason to get use that or copy or cut my personal opinion um, because in the time that it takes you to press and hold is going to be just as quick if i three finger swipe down and they're right up and ready to go all right this is the quick menu again to and, and just a reiteration to get to the quick menu Settings first, because you'll want to set it up how you want to. It's under Settings, under Preferences, the, so the Wrench, the Preferences, and then at the bottom, Advanced Gesture Controls. You'll see Quick Menu on the bottom right-hand side. I've got it turned on. Touch and Hold works for me. Maybe it doesn't for you. Maybe you'll want to change it. Entirely up to you. Once that's done, to then adjust your Quick Menu, Open it up. So again, for me, it's touch and hold 0.8 seconds. There's my quick menu with six options. I can then pick and change it. To change it again, you press and hold on that specific menu item. If you just want to use it, you just tap it. So for example, I'll go to varied circle. And now you'll see I've got a circle. All right, that's going to be it for this week on the Digital Painter Vidcast. I hope you're doing well. Uh, like always, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. I love new subscribers on that YouTube channel. Uh, kind of have a goal of about 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. We'll see if we can do it. You know, I don't envision myself as one of those top tier YouTubers who have like millions of subscribers, but 10,000 subscribers would be pretty cool. Uh, also, if you're watching this on the website, make sure you sign up for the newsletter that uh, the website is www.thedigitalpainter.com and if you like what I do and you'd like to give me a tip or a shout out uh, all you have to do is head to patreon.com slash the digital painter or the front page of the digital and uh, you know I do all of this out of my own pocket other than those that are already supporting me and a big thank you goes out to them all right until next week keep on painting <laughs>